Hey folks, another Ashbury guitar that I picked up cheap just because I like the first one so much and I uh, really like these cedar top guitars, don't see them too often but I um, uh, finally got one and um, it has the same kind of bridge pull up as the other one. Uh, by the way I like this style of um, string through bridge uh, rather than the bridge pins. I don't know, I always seem to feel like I get more sustain. But it's interesting when you get a good guitar, you know to try another one. So that's what happened here. The reason why I haven't tuned it all the way up to pitch too is because it's got a slight pull. Um, this is another Ashbury GR52063. Um, spread a uh, cedar top with the uh, mahogany back and sides, black tuners. It's very much similar to the other one that I had, and it's very consistently good in terms of um, quality. So uh, it's just one of those brands that I've found over here in the UK that I really like. I've had good luck with a number of them now, and uh, most of which you've seen on this channel. And I'm hoping to have a slew more uh, coming in in the next few weeks. Um, it's not quite as quick and fast and furious as it was when I was in the States because um, uh, with the market being smaller over here, um, I'm just not buying at the same speed as I was before and you know because it's still my first um, I've only been here six months and I've still got a lot to do I don't quite get as much time uh, as I did um, before either for instance I've got to do things like um, working on a, a spousal visa for my wife working on getting my um, full driver's license, provisional and full driver's license because I'm driving on a, a foreign license. Um, you know, integration, reintegration takes a while. There's just lots, always lots of things to do. Plus, I like to get out and do stuff. Today, I went to the old Froome Market. Uh, Froome is a, an old market town um, about 18 miles south of where I live in... Uh, um, right on the border of Somerset and Wiltshire, Wiltshire. Um, and it's a beautiful little town and every Sunday they have like an old-fashioned outdoor market and it's absolutely huge and people go in droves and um, I was looking around today for uh, any instruments I uh, saw a couple of things uh, nothing I really wanted including things like pink squires uh, strat copies um, Older ones, uh, I've worked on literally hundreds of those. Um, I, I don't really have a desire to spend £100 on a Squire, do a load of work on it, and then find out I can only get £100 for a used one. So, <laughs> things like that. It's got to be the right thing. But it was fun to walk around. Um, uh, a lot of really good food. I had a, um old-fashioned hot dog, uh, a Portuguese custard tart, um, yeah, oh, oh, some hot chocolate, because uh, it was kind of a cold morning. Uh, so just, you know, uh, stuff like that, getting out, uh, exploring the area. Um, I've been, I've been to uh, quite a number of um, hiking places. Uh, I like things like old ruins, hill forts, um, standing stones, um, megaliths, stuff like that. It's Tons of stuff around here. Uh, if you're thinking of making a trip to um, southwest England, 
Uh, it's absolutely packed with stuff to do. So you've got Bristol and Bath. You've got Cardiff, which is a castle town. You've got the whole Southwest Peninsula, Cornwall and Devon. Loads and loads of uh, history. Um, standing stones, megaliths, um, crop circles, stuff like that uh, in this area. You've got the, the Dorset Jurassic Coast. Uh, it's only about an hour, hour and a half drive from where I am. Um, some sets are incredibly beautiful. Um, county, you've got uh, Glastonbury with the Glastonbury Tor to climb up. Uh, the Mendip Hills, Chesh Cheddar Gorge, um, Bournemouth, Southampton, Exeter, uh, all coastal towns to the south, Portsmouth. Um, and then further inland, you've got um, Salisbury Plain with uh, um, Stonehenge, of course, and Avebury just farther north uh, up in Wiltshire. So it's absolutely, there's tons of stuff, even just uh, the town of Bath itself, there's a lot to do. Um, it's a really nice corner of England, the southwest corner. So um, I try to get out every weekend or so and go explore a hiking area or go see some some sort of um, historical site. I've been in God knows how many old um, cathedrals and uh, you know ruined sites, um, Saxon chapels, things like that. I'm I'm really a sucker for history, so. Uh, I love doing that stuff. So I'm trying to, you know, take time to do all that. And consequently, I'm just not working as much uh, on the guitars. Uh, I'm also doing some work for um, uh, people as well. Um, I'm making some money uh, fixing up people's guitars, selling stuff for other people. So, um, again, if you're not seeing as the, quite the rate that I had before, that's why. Um, but I plan to have a few coming in. Also, uh, it's warming up now. Spring is coming. Uh, I can be outside more and get a lot more done out in this uh, shed. Um, the house is just too small to do guitar work. So, um, you know, when the warmer weather comes, I think uh, I will speed up and get more done. But anyway, uh, every once in a while I find something like this uh, and uh, have fun with it. Uh, and then I don't want to sell it because I like playing it and then I force myself to sell them when I have to. I've still got both of those um, Adel Sound electrics, the, uh, the, the Telecaster and the, the Les Paul neck through that I've showed you the last few videos. I uh, just can't bring myself to sell them yet, but I will. I'll probably sell the uh, Telecaster this week. I'll put it up for sale. I'm sure it'll go right away. Uh, I might hang on to the neck through for a while because I don't have anything quite like that. So, yeah, just a little update, and again, to show you this really nice Ashbury Cedar Top Acoustic, um, which is an excellent playing guitar. Um, I've had a few Tanglewoods, but they've been repeats of what I've already shown you, so I haven't showed you every single one of them. It seems to be um, the brand that I, I see and get the most here. And uh, I don't want to just keep repeating the same guitars over and over again, so uh, I don't show them all to you. I think I've shown you all the different types uh, that I've had. Solid spruce, solid cedar, ply tops, um, some entry level, some slightly higher intermediate uh, brands. I've had a couple of Heartwoods, a few gear for music guitars. Uh, the last one I got in I don't think I did a video on because I gave it away before I had a chance to shoot a video. Uh, to my son's girlfriend uh, who needed a guitar so um, yeah uh, I've had uh, Sub-Zero the other gear for music brand stuff Sub-Zero uh, and Heartwood um, you know seems to be good value as well um, so yeah I'll keep exploring and hopefully I'll have some new stuff for you but it's going well here people uh, have expressed concern because my videos slow down saying am I okay I'm absolutely fine I'm doing well um, you know, getting used to things here. It's still my first year here, so um, you know everything is um, new. Getting to know people, make connections, that kind of stuff takes time, uh, and I just haven't um, been able to commit all my time as I was before leaving the U.S., where I was giving you a video every day for quite a while. But anyway, folks, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for those who keep coming back and supporting this channel and for all your kind comments. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll have some new stuff for you soon.
All right. Take care.